Doing the most good, that is the slogan of the Salvation Army. They are doing their best to help the people of Whiteland, as many are still recovering from this weekend's tornado. WRTV's Meredith Hackler joined them as they checked in to make sure that everyone is getting what they need. This is the Salvation Army's mobile disaster unit. They're currently on the ground in Whiteland, providing services, food and water to people who are still recovering from the tornado. It, it's difficult because a lot of the times it's uh, it, it takes a couple days to actually see who's all affected. As cleanup from the EF3 tornado continues in Whiteland, the Salvation Army is driving through the community several times a day, simply asking people what they need. Coffee or drinks or anything? Um, I'll take some coffee. People who simply lose power, uh, lost, lose all their food. And, uh, you know, we're four days into it and we still have people without power. And so they, they need necessities. Some of those needs by those affected are still being assessed. Right now we're down all of our vehicles. Um, it's just been, I still don't even know what's lost. Michael Thomas has helped recovery efforts following several tornadoes throughout his time with the Salvation Army. He says this situation in Indiana is different because of how many areas in the state have been impacted. It's, it's hit so many places throughout Indiana. Uh, and, and so it's kind of spread resources then where, you know, we, we've done well because we've been able to work with the other agencies to get to get the resources that uh, um, we need. But the biggest challenge is just the multiple tornadoes. The Salvation Army will be on the ground here in Whiteland until further notice. If you need their assistance, they urge you to call the number on your screen. In Whiteland, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. And as of yesterday, the Salvation Army served 1,100 people and handed out 600 meals in the town of Whiteland alone. Due to the devastation in Whiteland, a curfew will be in effect again tonight. While there hasn't been any looting, the chief of police says the curfew is intended to prevent theft and to allow emergency vehicles to get around town easier. The curfew is from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. It's scheduled right now for a total of seven nights starting last night. But the Johnson County Sheriff says it will be reviewed daily. Daily. Clark Pleasant schools will be closed again tomorrow due to damage to buildings and utilities. Elementary school students will attend class in person Thursday and Friday on a modified schedule. High school and middle school students will do e-learning. Clark Pleasant Early Learning Center will be closed for the rest of this week. Families can check the Parent Square app for more updates.